Hey, I'm Max, um, and I'll be telling you about Linear Operator today, a library for structured linear algebra built on PyTorch. Lots of other folks have contributed to Linear Operator. Our main brains here are Jeff and Jake, who've worked on this for a while. Um, what is Linear Operator? It is a PyTorch library for structured linear algebra. It's got a number of features that make working with structured tensors easy, fast, and efficient. Um, first, Linear Operator abstracts tensor structure and encodes it in the Linear Operator object which allows it to automatically use specialized linear algebra routines under the hood without the user needing to reason about them. Um, linear operators compose, so potentially complex structured tensors are automatically generated from primitives. And the library implements both specialized exact linear algebra, algebra methods for structured tensors, as well as fast approximate iterative methods. Um, and we'll choose the right one um, depending on what's needed. Great, so how do you use it? Um, it's easy, linear operators look and largely behave like PyTorch tensors. Uh, in this example, we create a linear operator A of size a million by a million, that is the sum of a low rank tensor um, and a diagonal tensor. Importantly, um, the one by one, one million by one million matrix is never actually instantiated. Um, yet we can do a bunch of interesting stuff with it. Namely, we can use the standard Torch APIs on those linear operator objects. Um, so we can sum across columns, add a scalar, perform matrix vector multiplication, um, or use some linear algebra methods such as uh, eye gauge, um, which means that we can use these objects just like we would any other tensors if we have existing code um, written in PyTorch. And so what enables us under the hood is that we register the operator's specialized methods um, to the standard Torch namespace functions. Um, and then, um, you know, since the operator carries around its structure with it, uh, we can know what kind of simplifications we can do on the computational side. Um, so that allows us to perform computations much more efficiently, both in terms of time and memory complexity. For instance, here um, in our example A from the previous slide, if we call solve on this with some right hand side B, then it would automatically use the Woodbury matrix identity under the hood to compute the solve in O of n time rather than O of n cube. Um, and for n equal a million here, this means massive speed ups, um, not to mention not having to instantiate that matrix. Let's look at a couple of other examples. The first one is on the Kronecker structure tensors. So if A is m by n and B is n by p, then the Kronecker product is n m by n p. Um, Torch implements that, but only eagerly. So if you call Torch Kron, you would instantiate the full tensor k here. The linear operator instead creates a Kronecker product linear operator for lazy evaluation, which comes with a number of efficient implementations for common linear algebra operations. So in this example, we look at a simple matrix vector product and we compute the speedups of the linear operator implementation with the naive approach um, of first forming the Kronecker product and then computing the MBM, which is what you probably do if you are not a linear algebra expert. The heat map here on the right shows the speedups for some fixed m equal 10. Um, for very small NNP, uh, we don't really see much of a speedup as expected, but as NNP increase, we do see speedups of more than an order of magnitude. Um, memory consumption improves similarly. Uh, the second example I have here is so-called monarch matrices. These are matrices that are parameterized as the product of two block diagonal matrices plus some permutations. They were proposed recently, there's an ICML paper from this year, um, to make neural network training and inference more efficient. And so with linear operator, implementing such algorithms here is just a few lines of code, um, which illustrates how we can utilize this package to quickly and simply implement new research ideas simply by composing the so finally, um, let me show you how linear operators can serve as a drop-in replacement for standard tensors in existing PyTorch code to exploit the structure. So my example here is encoding block diagonal structure in the covariance matrix of the multivariate normal. Basically, we just make a block diagonal linear operator and stick that into the multivariate normal constructor. Uh, so now we can use the resulting distribution just as we would use any other one. We can draw samples, we can compute log props, etc. And so here in this example, uh, we use a block diagonal matrix with num blocks blocks each of which is uh, size n by n. So under the hood, uh, the code calls torch linear like Koleski on the covariance matrix, uh, which is a linear operator. Um, so that call is dispatched to the specialized implementation for block diagonal matrices, uh, which essentially, long story short, computes a batch of num blocks Koleski decompositions and reassembles them vis-a-vis um, -vis the you know, naive method of computing Koleski on the full uh, large matrix. So we get a nice quadratic speed up here. Um, we end up with O of num blocks rather than O of num blocks cubed, uh, both for sampling and computing log probs. Um, and I wanna emphasize here that this is executing unmodified core PyTorch code. Um, the torch function dispatch and the structure awareness of linear operator allow us to get those speed ups 
Um, and you can use that similarly in other existing code bases as a drop-in replacement. So what's the catch? Um, well, there's two main ones currently. The first one is that linear operator is written in, in pure Python. And so if the involved tensors are very small, then it may just be faster to use dense torch tensors. The second one is that the main focus uh, so far has been on symmetric positive definite matrices. Um, they're used in kernel methods such as Gaussian processes, where you know some of this, this package has its origins. There's no real technical reason for this. It's just a matter of doing it. And it would be great to get some help from the community to do that. That's it. Um, please check out our poster uh, at the conference if you can. Uh, love to chat more. Uh, and you can learn more about linear operator on its GitHub repo. Thanks.